bunch of crunch time. Let me ask you this. All right. Are your mechanics nowhere near as quick and consistent as the pros? Well, it might have nothing to do with your skill and everything to do with the key binds that you're using. Yeah, I said it. Yo, what's going on, guys? Look, today I'm going to be going over optimal key binds, man, that are going to help you become the best player that you can be. Are you guys ready for this? I know I am. Let's get this going. Having key binds, guys, that are absolutely perfect is something that almost every player misunderstands when they first start playing on keyboard and mouse. So a lot of players tend to think that having key binds that are close to one another rather than key binds that are just easy to press is the way to go. And the truth of the matter is this, guys, like having key binds that are close together isn't really that useful. Like when you have key binds that are close together on your keyboard, it's likely that you're going to be using the same finger to press all of them. And this might seem easy at first glance, but it's actually going to Limit the way that you edit and how you move while building. You're going to be seriously limiting your potential if that's the way you want to play. So to have the perfect keybinds, my friends, all right, you need to be using keybinds that allow you to move around and edit and build all at the same time. And this is going to allow your mechanical skill to get loose. And, you know, you're really going to be able to grow to your maximum potential. It'll also make sure that you will never have to sacrifice your momentum if you engage in a build heavy fight. So the key binds that we're going to go over in this video, guys, are, are going to be perfect for doing everything efficiently, right? And are going to seriously improve your mechanical skills to like a whole nother level. As of right now, the best way to have optimal key binds is by putting your wall and your ramp on your side mouse buttons. This is going to allow you to have more space on your keyboard, and it's definitely going to help you move your fingers across your keyboard with ease. What Without having to worry about you know constantly pushing the buttons for walls and ramps in the middle of a build battle you know the reason that most pros end up putting their wall and ramp on their mouse buttons is that you know using your keybinds in this way it's, it's gonna allow you to just move around and jump and crouch and really pull out your harvesting tool all while building depending on the bind that you use to switch the edits put your floor bind on either C or F since they're really easily reachable with your index finger while your cone should go to left shift where your pinky can just reach that. Meanwhile, put your trap bind on T, allowing it to be right next to your reload button. Along with all of that, your ping bind should be on X, so once again, your index finger has easy access. After just a few hours on these binds, guys, like you're gonna start to notice a huge difference in how easily you can build now. You know, you'll be able to strafe and edit simultaneously. And after all of those adjustments, you'll notice that there are a couple of key binds left over that you should have previously used for your ramps and your walls. This means that we can mess around with your weapon key binds next, allowing them to be easier to access than having everything on the numbers bar. So keeping your pickaxe bounded to one is fine and you can still use two three four and five for your next slots if you want to it would probably be useful to put at least two of those weapons to v and g so that they're easier to just reach quicker this is going to allow you to do something like pull out a shotgun much easier and really just much faster than if your shotgun was bound to your number buttons weapon binds are a bit less important than building binds but you should definitely feel free to experiment with those just a little bit more let me ask you this are you struggling to grab a victory royale and even though you've applied these fancy new key binds well you're not alone guys all right we we get it you know you should definitely check out clicks master course right now on proguys.com he's gonna take you through everything that you need to know about fortnite and help you become a much better player Now, just because you've applied the optimal keybinds possible, that doesn't mean you're suddenly just gonna be a monster <laughs> on the next level with some of these pros. You know, a huge problem that, you know, messes with many players is actually adjusting to a new set of keybinds and having the willpower to stay on them and eventually learn them instead of just reverting back to something that is just more familiar to play. And when you do that, you're not really improving, you're digressing. You know, one of the things that you should never ever do, guys, is play against other players when you've only just switched to new key binds. I mean, it could be very demotivating. Trust me, I know. Like when you're being sprayed or you're in an insane build situation, there's about a 100% chance that you're gonna forget your binds and you're just gonna start panicking and you're gonna start playing horribly. And this is going to lead you to not even worrying about building or landing your shots. In other words, man, it's not gonna help you at all. So after first switching your key binds, you should definitely stick to playing in creative maps and practice by free building, guys. Free building. Free building is definitely going to help you, you know, rebuild your muscle memory and it's definitely going to correct all your fingers, stay in the correct positions. It's going to take a little bit, you know, to wipe your old key binds from your muscle memory. So don't be discouraged, all right? Don't be discouraged if you can't, you know, free build as fast or efficiently as you want. 
It's gonna, it's gonna take time, but it will come together, guys. Don't give up. And after you've started to feel a little bit more comfortable with your new binds, all right, you could just start refreshing your memory with some more advanced techniques. Okay, so a great way to do this would be whew, with Raiders 464's Peace Control Map. The map is gonna allow you to learn your new binds incredibly well since there are pre-built slots for you to place your builds in. When you keep forcing your brain to remember your new binds, you're gonna be able to play faster and more efficiently in no time at all. Just remember this, my friends, don't be too demotivated at first. Okay, so it's a proven fact that after sleeping, your newly acquired muscle memory will melt straight into your brain. So when you wake up, you're gonna feel a huge difference. So make sure to give it at least like two or three days at least. And before you know it, man, you're gonna start doing like crazy stuff. And you're gonna see a massive difference with your mechanics. All right, guys, for our question of the day, I gotta ask you this. Like, did you think that your keybinds were already optimal before this video? It could be a shock to learn just how much you have to change to be a completely optimal Fortnite player. So let us know in the comments, all right? And if you're still uncertain about switching your binds from what you're using now to our optimal binds, you might change your mind after hearing about some of the best and up and coming pros in the Fortnite competitive scene at the moment. You know, some players who use the exact same key binds that we went over in this video are Vadil and Noah Rayleigh. So Vadil has his wall and ramp on a side mouse button and actually goes one step further to put his floor on his middle mouse button. So Noah Rayleigh, on the other hand, like uses the same binds for his wall and ramp, C for his floor, and left shift for his cones. These key binds allow them to retain all of their movement when they're building, and they only need to press three binds on their keyboard to build and edit. These two players, like they've become known as some of the best fighters in the world. The versatility and the speed that they can manage when they play is absolutely ridiculous. Some of that is really down to just raw skill too. They do have incredible aim and you know top tier decision making, but their binds are definitely going a long way to helping them dominate every engagement that they find themselves in. Something that you probably notice is that every player basically has a maximum of two binds for each finger, which allows them to play very efficiently, right? So take a look at this clip, guys. The speed and the accuracy that Norley manages to play at is overwhelming for most of the players that he comes up against. The reason that you know he's able to play at this completely overwhelming pace is because of his binds. You know, it's seen time and time again, man, like from the moments like this clip where Noah manages to box up his opponent incredibly quick to countless other times across a ton of tournaments. All right, Bunch of Crunch Army, where you at? Hope you guys still here. We got to recap everything that we learned in this video. Here we go. The most important thing is that you copy down the binds that we've gone over in this video and start practicing them at the first chance that you get. So while practicing, okay, never get demotivated, guys. Never get demotivated, all right? It's gonna take some time for you to adjust to the new binds that you're playing with, but when you do, you basically become a brand new player and it's time for you to go to the next level. So take your time, believe in yourself. Your motivation guy believes in you. I'm not just saying that. I really, really do. I am your number one fan, truly. So keep going, man. If you're still having trouble getting used to the binds, just remember this, that everybody has to start from somewhere and that eventually, you know, these optimal binds are gonna make sure that you're gonna play the best that you can play up to your full potential. These key binds are gonna be a great foundation for you guys, really to build the rest of your Fortnite ability. For everything else, I mean, you already know what to do. You can always check out the rest of our channel for more incredible tips and tricks. Bunch of cringe on me, I'm so proud of you guys. We're almost at one million subscribers. And once we hit there, man, we're gonna release my story of how I made it to our map today. It is gonna to be so inspiring, guys. Connect with my Instagram at your motivation guy and keep grinding never give up no matter how hard it gets i'll see you soon